A medical breakthrough for women. How would you like to shrink your waist and increase your bra size all without surgery? Stem cells may be the future of cosmetic surgery. Instead of using silicone, an Orlando doctor is using a woman's own fat in cosmetic procedures. It's still a controversial surgery. He argues it is safer and more natural. Jessica Sanchez takes us inside one woman's experience. I want to be what I see in my mind and what I feel, I want to see it. <laughs> Sheila Austin has her own idea of the perfect body, but she can't achieve it through simple diet and exercise, and she doesn't like the thought of silicone. I've never wanted to get, you know, breast implants. I just never liked the way they looked. So with swimsuit season just weeks away, Sheila is trying out a new form of cosmetic surgery. It may not be simple, but it's a lot more natural than plastic. It sucks the fat from your hips and thighs and injects it right into your breasts. So this was like a two-in-one for you? Uh, yes, because not only am I going to get uh, the fat uh, uh, liposuctioned out of my um, inner thigh and um, off my hips, then I'll be slimmer there, but then I have it here. <laughs> if you're using your own tissue and transplanting it to another site, then your body's going to accept it as its own. Dr. Scott Basson specializes in this breakthrough procedure called natural fill breast enhancement. These are just pure, non-damaged fat cells. It begins with a new, much more gentle type of liposuction that, instead of disintegrating the fat cells, preserves them, allowing them to grow in another part of your body. Okay, come on out, Alison. There are limits, but as Sheila's before and after pictures show, it will fill out your bust one to two cup sizes. This is just a next step to help me get to where, ideally, I'd... I definitely want to look. But this procedure isn't just about enhancing your body. It also has the potential to enhance your health. That's because your fat cells are also the greatest source for stem cells. We're going to have leftover fat. But we'll be able to store that or bank those stem cells to use for further medical treatments that she may need. Already, stem cells are being used to treat more than 80 life-threatening diseases like leukemia and lymphoma. And there is emerging research that will use stem cells to treat diabetes and even heart disease. For years, this type of fat transplant was used to repair the breasts of women who had had cancerous lumps removed. But now it's starting to catch on with women who want plastic surgery without the plastic. Jessica Sanchez, Local 6. Because using stem cells in healthy women who want cosmetic surgery is so new, some doctors believe more long-term testing needs to be done. As for Sheila, the entire procedure took less than two hours. She was at work the very next day, riding her horse a week later. The cost for the procedure can run between $7,500 and $12,000.